Like many birds, the emus from Australia are attracted to shiny objects. But unlike other birds, the big emus are large enough to do something about it. In fact, it's even been reported that an emu chased a man for four miles because the big bird was attracted to the man's shiny bicycle. That's a fascinating fact. There is definitely one very colorful showman in the bird world. Lots of birds have some talent for imitating what they hear. But the parrots are the most famous and the most popular. There are all kinds of parrots. The cockatiel has feathers on its top of its head. It talks like a funny boy. It goes, wow, mom. It sounds like a chicken almost. Cockatoos can sound like chickens, because cockatoos are parrots, too. So are macaws, and parakeets, and even lorikeets. They are also parrots. Jimmy Timber! A parrot's beautiful colors actually help it blend into its jungle home. And a parrot's beak is so strong, it can lift itself up just using its jaws. Leave home! Parrots are very social birds. These birds of a feather really do enjoy flocking together. And when a parrot finds a mate, they seem to be devoted to one another. There are all sorts of stories about how long parrots can live. Some people say parrots can live to be over 100 years old. No one really knows for sure just how old parrots can live to be. Except the parrot. And on that, the parrots aren't talking. When a bunch of cows come together, we call them a herd of cattle. And when birds fly together, it's called a flock of birds. And when cheetahs gather, you could call them a leap of cheetahs. Or when crows get together, it's a murder of crows. There's lots of fun names we have for animals when they gather together. But don't try to haggle with the gaggle of geese. Gaggle of geese. Inside a pride of lions, whisper please. There are slithering snakes and a bevy of bucks and in a pond, a paddling of ducks. Family name. Like a cool school of fish. Family name. Well, yes, but let's do another one. Okay, listen to this now. Nothing. of lizards. Family day. I tried. Of the animals, heaven. That's right. What do you call a lot of starlings? Preparation. And a shoal of bass is good for a... <laughs> and a flittering flock of feathery birds. Simulation. And rhinos. Family names. A shrew. Flamingos are large, colorful birds that are beautiful and strange-looking at the same time. Flamingos have a strange way of eating. 
they eat upside down. And it really is the food they eat that gives flamingos their bright pink color. Here's something else that's strange about flamingos. What looks like their knees are actually their ankles. Those legs may look flimsy, but a flamingo can support its weight on one leg for hours at a time. Flamingos don't build their nests from twigs and sticks. They use mud. Flamingos are attentive parents. It takes a while for flamingo chicks to develop. So the adults look after the babies until the chicks are able to take care of themselves. When it comes to romance, male birds seem to do almost anything from strutting to primping to get a female's attention and sweep her off her feet. Even vultures can get romantic. No bird goes to the lengths to impress the opposite sex as this fellow, the bower bird of Australia. First, he builds an impressive nest, but he doesn't stop there. He also gathers pebbles to add some interior decorating. Sometimes these bird artists get so caught up designing their nests, they forget about the mate they were trying to attract in the first place. Building a nest just comes naturally to birds. But it's how they build those nests that's so incredible. Hornbills have a very peculiar way of nesting. The male hornbill actually seals up the female in her nest. Then brings food for the female and her young ones. But the real master builders in the bird world are the weaver birds. Weaver birds work together to turn their nests into a feathery condominium. There are birds that don't even build nests. Some penguins nestle their eggs on top of their feet. This keeps the eggs warm through the cold Antarctic winter until the little babies hatch. The cuckoo doesn't even look after or feed its own young. A baby cuckoo is hatched in another bird's nest and left on its own. Other baby birds are cared for by their mothers. But the cuckoo chick has to take matters into its own wings. The chick instinctively pushes any other egg out of its nest. Luckily for the cuckoo, the parents of the nest will adopt the chick as their own and go on feeding it, even though baby grows more than twice the size of the parents. Wherever there's a lake or a river, there's probably going to be birds paddling along. They're waterfowl. find waterfowl perched in a tree. They're happiest paddling along on still, calm water. Waterfowl are one of the most migratory birds. They spend the summers in colder climates. The long, warmer days give them time to find food for their babies. When the kids are grown and the days grow cold and short, waterfowl fly thousands of miles to spend their winters in warm climates. But the next year, they'll make that trek all over again. Some birds prefer the sea over rivers and lakes. The sea must inspire the wanderlust in them, because some seabirds can spend years at sea and never touch land at all. What animal today is considered the closest descendant of the dinosaur? No, not the Komodo dragon. Or crocodile. Not any reptiles. Our closest link to dinosaurs today is the bird. That's 
a fascinating fact.